Hello, this is Miss Duval. I just wanted to remind your students what the tape diagram, number bond, airway, and what a place value chart methods are to solving it. We are not solving vertical form, even though the homework does say that. Please do not solve vertical form. These are the four methods that we are going to be facing. Airway, place value chart, number bonds, and tape diagram. This is lesson seven's homework, and I took the first four problems to show the students and the parents how to do these methods. All right, so 370 plus 300, and this is using it the arrow way. When you use it the arrow way, you want to add your tens first, then your hundreds, then any remaining ones. Well, let's look at our tens column that we're adding. We're adding 370 to 300. So if we start at 300 and we add 7 tens plus 10, there's one 10, that makes it 310. We add another 10, that makes it 320. We add another 10, that makes it 330. We add another 10, now we're up to 40 tens, that makes it 340. We add another 10, that makes it 350. Add another 10, that makes it 360. And our last 10, that makes it 370. Okay? Um, they can go all the way across the paper or bring it back down over here. Now that we've added our, our seven tens, we're going to add our hundreds now. We have three hundreds. So add in a hundred. That makes four seventy. Add in another hundred. That makes five seventy. Add in your last hundred. That makes six seventy. Now some students may find this to be really easy and helpful to add it piece by piece. Others may seem that that it's too long, so they're going to choose to do one of the other three methods. The best part about the homework right now is that they can actually solve whichever way is easiest for them. So if they decide to use all tape diagrams, all number bombs, a couple of each, a couple of arrow ways, a place value chart here or there, all of that is fine. All right, so we're going to look at place value chart. 562 minus 200. Well, we're going to put this number in our place value chart. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. And two ones. It's asking us to subtract two hundreds. What does that leave us with? It leaves us with two ones, six tens, and three hundreds. Answers three hundred sixty two. Oh, I forgot to put the answer up here. Six hundred seventy. It's our final answer on the airway. Okay, number bonds. Now with a number bond, letter C has your missing exponent plus five hundred equals eight hundred and twelve. They separate this eight hundred and twelve into a number bond of five hundred that represents this 500, they can find out the other part by subtracting the 800 from the 500. 1 minus 0, 2 minus 0, and they come up with 312. That would be your number bond. Tape diagram. 230 minus 90. With tape diagram, you want to take the number that you're subtracting and try to get it to a friendly number. A friendly number is any number that's ending in zero, zero, or zero in itself. So this number, 190, for us to subtract, for us to get 190 to a friendly number, we want to add 10 to that. But whatever we do to one exponent, we have to do the other. So that means we have to add 10 to 230. Our new problem will be 240 minus 200, which equals 
40. So again, those are the four methods that we are focusing on this week in math and probably within the next week and the week after that. But um, please be aware we are not doing vertical form. And if the, your students have any trouble, I'll be more than happy to help them individually. Just have them come to me in class. All right. Thank you. Have a great day.